go ahead and talk about hip roof stacking problems. The biggest one, obviously, is building out a square. Uh, I mean, just you're gonna have problems uh, because if you have a diagonal here of minus a half inch from what it should be, and you have a diagonal here of plus one half of what it should be, you've got an inch, uh, an inch error. So if when you cut these guys to these two hips to their lengths using your 60 inch span, uh, we're going to find out that these guys will be short, uh, correction, these, these guys in the short distance will be uh, too long and that will actually push that bird's mouth out on this one and this one and when you put these two in, uh, they'll, they'll fall down, at the, the head cut will fall down at the ridge because it's too short. Um, so the way to overcome this, is, well, first of all, it should have been caught when you were plumbing lining and plating and all that stuff, but for example, you, it wasn't fixed and you show up to build this roof. Um, these ones, you're going to have to end up shimming until this outside edge lines up with your king common there and your king common there. So it'll be equal shim on both sides. So um, you'll, it'll be obvious what, what you need up there. And these guys here, with the bird's mouth out, uh, they need to be cut. Let me use red for cut. Huh? Uh, they need to be cut, recut, so that you pull this bird's mouth up tight against the building. And why is that bird's mouth tight? I did, forgot to mention we were out talking about stacking the gable roof. Um, anytime you move, everything has been calculated. Here's a corner uh, of the building. Here's the hip roof. There's the hip rack, excuse me, coming down. Your, your heel stand was set up to be three quarters of an inch in. So this is your two and three quarters of an inch heel stand uh, set up three quarters of an inch out the thickness of this two by. Yeah. Okay, now if you push that out, I'm going to draw another one right down here. How about different color? And now we push that guy out. Uh, what, where, what have we done with that heel stand? We've, uh, here's the, the end of the, the wall. I'm sorry, this kind of overlapping, but we're going to come in three quarters of an inch. That's, that's, more than it should have been, right? Now, now we're looking at a heel stand of, say, three inches. So we're going to have problems not only in the fascia, we're going to have problems in lining up, so the ply was going to kick up. Um, so it's very important that the bird's mouth be tight on the hips and on the common. I think that pretty much covers it. Really, in reality, guys, what you actually created is bastard hips here. Anytime it's not a, a true 90 degree corner, you have a bastard. It'll work in most cases, you know, they're never too far gone that you can't fix them in the method of time.